In your 3D working space you will probably be greeted with the perspective version of your point cloud which you can manipulate with the box in the upper right corner like this while we're at it we should mention that there's an option to go and change the view type from perspective to orthogonal by going to display settings and choosing this option it can sound counterintuitive to check perspective button to get an ortho 3d view but that's how the icon is named truth be told 3D point cloud files can be extremely large and to manipulate your 3D point cloud data you should know how to chunk up the data first. Select parts of your point cloud, delete some data or delete redundant points. For all this to be carried out effectively you first need to know how to select the data, isolate some points and freeze some views that were critical for you and your point cloud manipulation. On that note Let's describe how the selection tool works. As you can see we are presented with three options for selection. Window, Fence and Plane. The window type works like this. The options that get presented when we select something are the region, clip outside, delete and clear. The region option gives us an option of making a, a new region that will become a separate group of points. I will make one right now. The clip outside option gives us the option of clipping data inside or outside our selection. Obviously the delete option gives us an option of deleting points from the point cloud and clear just clears the selection. The fence and plane options are just different ways of selecting your point cloud. The annotation tool is just an easy tool for small and quick annotations or quick measurements. Annotations can be easily deleted by clicking on the annotation and clicking on the X button or edited by clicking on the pencil button. We can also use the undo tool for any typical undo operation and redo for the redo operation. As you can already see from the provided point cloud sample, point clouds can be extremely complicated to navigate through and this is where the recap project navigator helps. And here it is in the lower right corner. It consists of view states, scan regions and scan locations. View states help us to freeze view states. Here are a couple that I've saved previously. Let's freeze another one. Now I can jump through the, the view states I've saved. And of course the recap gives us these cool 3D transitions. Scan regions are used for isolating regions of scan, like the one I isolated before. And it can help us to lock some of these scans so we don't delete them or edit them by mistake. And scan locations show us the actual position of the 3D scanner on site during the reality capture procedure or 3D scanning. As I've already mentioned before, Recap's user interface is extremely simple, almost deceptively simple, but a lot of thought has been given to the design of the interface and you can tell that by the way the icons on the left have been arranged. Going through the icons from bottom to top, the editing abilities on your point cloud increase more and more. Of course the first icon is only a feedback icon, it doesn't really allow you to do anything. The second one 
is the navigation panel. And the navigation shortcuts pretty much explain the navigation panel in all its glory. Then there's the limit box, display settings, and the home button with the usual export, import, and save options.